we often talk about reactions and the molecules that undergo change in those reactions those changes don't happen on their own if you leave some protein in a container will it just break down to the amino acids itself no then what will break the proteins to the simpler amino acids the answer to this question is enzymes enzymes are the biological substances that act as catalysts and help complex reactions to occur everywhere in life in this video we are going to talk about the catalysts of life enzymes students often find it difficult to learn from a textbook on their own the teacher explains the subject to the students and increases their understanding capability it is no wonder that certain difficult things which the students take days together to understand and sometimes do not understand at all are easily learned under the guidance of the teacher here the teacher acts like a catalyst in enhancing the understanding ability of students A good teacher is always a good catalyst in students life. So, a catalyst is defined as a substance that increases the velocity or rate of a chemical reaction without itself undergoing any change in the overall process. Similarly, enzymes are the catalysts working in the biological systems. That is, enzymes are the biocatalysts. Enzymes are protein in nature. and enzymes are highly specific in their action in the laboratory hydrolysis of proteins by a strong acid at 100 degrees celsius takes at least a couple of days the same protein is fully digested by the enzymes in gastrointestinal tract at body temperature that is 37 degrees celsius within a couple of hours This remarkable difference in the chemical reactions taking place in the living system is exclusively due to enzymes. The very existence of life is unimaginable without the presence of enzymes. The International Union of Biochemistry (IUB) appointed an enzyme commission in 1961. This committee made a thorough study of the existing enzymes and devised some basic principles for the classification and nomenclature of enzymes. Since 1964, the IUB system of enzyme classification has been in force. Enzymes are divided into 6 major classes. Each class on its own represents the general type of reaction brought about by the enzymes of that class. The six enzyme categories are oxidoreductases, transferases, hydrolases, lyases, isomerases and ligases. Now let's talk about this classification in detail. Let's talk about the first class oxidoreductases. These are the enzymes involved in the oxidation reduction reactions. Consider this example AH2 plus B gives the product A plus BH2 In this typical reaction A is getting oxidized while B is getting reduced Example of such oxidoreductases include alcohol dehydrogenase and L and D amino acid oxidases L and D amino acid oxidases are the enzymes which take part in the deamination reactions The next category is transferases Transferases are the enzymes that catalyze the transfer of functional groups Consider the reaction AX plus B gives the product A plus BX. 
here the group X is being transferred from A to B. Example of such transferases include hexokinase, transaminases, and phosphorylase. Let's move on to the next category, hydrolases. These are the enzymes that bring about hydrolysis of various groups. A reaction involving hydrolases include A plus B plus H2O gives AH plus BOH. In this reaction, hydrolysis is, is taking place. Example of hydrolases include lipases, choline esterase, alkaline phosphatase, and pepsin. The next category is lyases. Lyases are the enzymes specialized in addition or removal of water, ammonia, carbon dioxide, etc. An example of this category may involve AB plus XY gives AX plus BY. Here here, X is being added to A and Y is being added to B. Example of lyases include aldolase and fumarase. The next category is isomerases. These are the enzymes involved in all the isomerization reactions. simple reaction may be the compound A is getting isomerized to the form A dash. Example of isomerases include triose phosphate isomerase. Triose phosphate isomerase converts glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate to dihydroxyacetone phosphate and vice versa. This reaction takes place in the glycolysis pathway. The last category is ligases. These are the enzymes catalyzing the synthetic reactions where two molecules are joined together and ATP is used. A reaction which is catalyzed by ligases is A plus B gives AB where ATP is used. Example of ligases include glutamine synthetase and acetyl CoA carboxylase. Ligate means to bind. Therefore, the enzyme ligases binds two different molecules together, like in this reaction. To remember the six classes of enzymes in the correct order, the word O T H L I L can be memorized. These letters represent the first letter of the enzyme category. So this was the basic information about enzymes and classification of enzymes. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a comment for queries and suggestions.